In this question, we have a diagram of a vertical cross-section through a water wave moving from left to right. At which point is the water moving upwards with maximum speed? So it's basically like our ripple tank here, where you have water dripping. But instead of looking at the top view, let's go to the side view. And here. There we go. That's our water wave right here. So when you know where is the water moving fastest. So see the shape of the wave? You see it moving to the right? You need to imagine this in the exam. So to help us think about that for this animation, I guess, I'm going to draw and trace out the original wave roughly. Okay, Ooh, it's a bit rough, but it's okay. Now imagine this shape moving to the right. So drag it a little bit to the right. Maybe somewhere there. Now exam, you can't drag. So just draw the shape of the wave, but move a little bit to the right. And then you will see how this uh, shape is moving. Okay, then you check the wave particles. Where would they be? So D would have gone up a bit. C would have gone up. Oh, that's a very big distance. B would have gone down. A would have gone down. Okay, so that's where all these new particles will be. And I'm going to trace them out with a nice... Pink dot. C will now be here. D would have gone up. B would have gone down. A would have gone down. Okay, so you want the point with maximum speed, right? See which arrow is pointing up. And then see which one is biggest. So A and B, not going to make it. C is probably the best choice because you see the arrow pointing up. That's kind of like the velocity where you'll be moving and it's moving at a very large magnitude. D is just starting to move up only. Just starting to go up. Okay, so can you remember the facts for waves? If you are at, I guess you could call this hex. Okay, this middle of the wave is what we call equilibrium position, right? So at, oh, this is very thick. At equilibrium, you could kind of memorize this also. Speed is the fastest, maximum. Okay, so remember this point. We'll learn more, more about this in a future chapter in physics, but that's all for now. Okay, so hope that helps you understand the animation or the movement of a wave and how the particles ride on the wave. Okay, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.